Okay kids, so sometimes it might say write each fraction as a sum of fractions in two different ways. Well, a sum of fractions means that addition where we add up by the unit fraction. So we are gonna do, oops, let's see, undo. We're gonna do one fifth plus one fifth plus one fifth would give us us those three fifths. Another way that I could do this is I could change it because it's repeated addition. I could do, I have three groups of one fifths. So I could write it as a multiplication equation where I have three times one fifth. So this would be the first way and that would be the second way. So let's do another one. I have six eighths and I need to change it and make it into two ways of doing some of the unit fractions. So I'm going to do one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth one two three four five plus one eighth. So that would be one two three four five six eighths. Remember, repeated addition is the same as multiplication, so I could also put, because I have six groups, I have six of those one-eighths, I could do six times one-eighth, so those are the two ways. The first way is by writing it as the repeated addition. The second way is the multiplication. Okay, let's try this one. I need, I see that my numerator is 9, so that means I need to add up 9 unit fractions. So I go 1 9 plus 1 9 plus 1 9 plus 1 9 plus 1 9 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 plus 1 9 plus 1 9 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 plus 1 9 plus 1 9. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ninths. So that would be that nine ninths right there. Or I can write it because I have nine of those. My whole number of nine times the unit fraction, one ninth. First way, second way. Okay, let's do one last one. Five thirteenths, so that means I need to add one thirteenth five times. So I go one thirteenth plus one thirteenth plus one thirteenth plus one thirteenth plus one thirteenth. So that's one, two, three, four, five thirteenths. Or I could write it as five because there's five of them. So that's my whole number. And then just the unit fraction. First way second way. So I would have completed writing the sum of fractions in two different ways. Okay, thanks so much. Keep watching the videos if you need a review.